Flags I find satisfying. Oh yeah, flag of Argentina, but it's the complete day cycle. That is amazing. Look at that. The sun's there. It's great. Oh, there goes the sun. And now, it hello, moon. <laughs> And the shade of blue changes as it gets light and dark. Oh, that is fantastic. I never knew that the Taliban and Saudi Arabia flag have the same text. It's not often the word satisfying is linked to the word Taliban, but that is actually quite interesting. I didn't realize the Taliban flag and the Saudi Arabia flag are actually the same text. Flag of Alabama in the style of Iran. Oh, I like it. Sweet home Alabama. These flags in the style of other flags, they always get me going. Not in a weird way though. Pride flag with EU representation. Whoa, that looks mad. I like it though. So you've got like little bits of hidden flags. So like Ireland is these first three colours. And then you've got like Spain. We've got a bit of Iceland or UK maybe. Then you've got Germany. It just goes all the way along. I like that one to be fair. EU flag but with realistic gravity. Oh, well that's delightful. This one's my favourite. You see this one? Eric Akai, track that star that's going up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Flag of hypothetical union between Estonia and the United States. That looks terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, but that just doesn't look very good at all. I love the Estonia flag. The US flag's fine. Put them together. You've just made a mess, really. The blue isn't even censored. Ugh! Vietnam's football team celebrating with their flags after winning a gold medal. Congratulations, Vietnam. Not gonna lie. Could have done with iron in that flag, though. I do not like them crease lines one bit. Today I learned about Prague, Oklahoma, which uses the flag of the Czech Republic as its municipal flag. Look at that. They've literally just nicked the Czechia flag because they're called Prague, even though they're in Oklahoma. Also, their town is shaped exactly like a cooking pot. Or an axe! No, it's like an axe! You could probably slice someone up with Prague, Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, here we go. Northern Cyprus plus the Turkish flag array it looks very satisfying. Yes, it does. Oh, this is fantastic. There we go. This is what it's all about. Oh, it continues. Flag of Palau and Japan next to each other. Look at that. Look at the dots and the blue and the red and the white the yellow oh whoa flag of the tribe of benjamin according to jewish tradition it's a big wolf lion thing i like it look at his tongue <laughs> lethbridge alberta canada might possibly have the worst flag you will ever see in your life i am excited for this Lethbridge. <laughs> That's a pretty bad flag. <laughs> what is that? It looks like it was made in Microsoft Excel. Why do they have like condensed red and white up here and then like big spread out up here and then like this thin red slither there and then oh this big chunky bit of blue. Oh my god. Lethbridge. Sort it out man. What are you doing? Why does Japan have this type of emoji flag? Woo. Does it really? Investigate. Investigate. They do. Look. It's right there. Right. What is this about? Ah fair enough. It's literally just the emojis are from Japan. So because of that, there's quite a few emojis out there that are more specific to Japan than anywhere else. That's fair. I like it. That's nice. Cool. Discussion. Yellow is an underrated colour on flags. I agree with that, you know. The Palau flag, that's very nice. Can I think of any others? Um, <laughs> Barbados. Barbados flag looks nice. Obviously, all of these Afro-Caribbean flags, they're delightful as well. I want to see more yellow and black on a flag. That's a very striking combination. Oh my god, look at this. It's like my dreams have just come true. The flag of Parak, a state in Malaysia. It's got that black and yellow that I was talking about. Black and yellow. This is what I'm saying. Striking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all these flag enthusiasts raising the flag of South Vietnam in front of the San Francisco City Hall for Vietnam National Day. Oh, look at everyone. They've all come out with their big flag. These guys have really gone for it. That's mad. Look, it's taken five of them just to hold the flag. Stop it from blowing over. That's incredible. Well, that was very exciting. Can't disagree with the message, but it's a monstrosity nonetheless. Make love, not war. That's a pretty ugly flag. Nice message, but a pretty ugly flag. Whoa, huge red flag. Where is this? What's the context? Look at the size of it. Swiss flag on the Santis. Whoa, it's a huge Swiss flag on the side of a mountain. <laughs> Look at that, yes. Flag of the UK according to Russians. Context in the second image. Right, okay, well, what do we mean? Ah, Russians paint the trash cans with the flags of unfriendly countries. Well, that's nice, isn't it? But when they attempted to do the UK flag, they had an absolute nightmare, really. <laughs> US flag definitely not looking quite right either. Ooh, great ways to remember similar flags. So Ivory Coast and Ireland. Ivory sounds like Ivy, which is green. So it comes first on the Ivory Coast flag. I do definitely get those two mixed up a lot.
what? So Ivy, Ivory, Ivy. Okay, right. Chile and Texas. Chile is longer, so the blue is longer on the flag. Yeah, I reckon I can remember that. Indonesia, Poland, and Monaco. Okay, Indonesia is the only one with red on the bottom because their capital is mostly south to the rest of the country. I'm never remembering that, man. Poland is a darker shade than Monaco because of all the invasions have worn down the shade. Oh, you're starting to lose me a bit. Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand owns more islands, so they have more stars. Also, Australia is very hot, so the stars are red. Wait, are these all wrong? They are all wrong. You, what are you doing to me? I thought green was the first colour rather than the last because I've always associated Ireland with the colour green. They're trying to diddle us. What is going on here? It's the red stars that suddenly made me remember it in my head because I was sure that Australia had white. Oh my God, that's such a good troll. Oh man, I bet so many of you were laughing at me. Took me way too long to realise I'd been lied to. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Take all of that information out your heads, guys. Do not remember any of it. Me and my special ed class decorated our school fair booth with our favourite flags. Oh, some nice flags there. The Qing Dynasty flag. It's got to be one of my favourites. <laughs> what the hell is that? Christ for arms. Flag of Sweden, but what the F? He's got crosses instead of arms. They made fun of him. <laughs> Right, if anyone's got this on VHS, I will offer you $2.99 for it. French departments and overseas collectivized flag map to scale. 12 days it took to put this together. Look at all them different flags, and you've even got all of the French overseas territory, for which there are many. What's that right there? Where is that? The style of it, it's got to be somewhere around Africa. I don't know where that is. Ah, uh, it's the flag of French Guiana. Fair enough. Look at the scale of it compared to actual France. That just makes you realize how big South America is. Ooh, I didn't know Slovakia's flag rotates its shield when being displayed vertically as seen here at a hockey match. That is rather satisfying. I like it. Flag of spin. <laughs> Oh, God. Ah, always follow the guidelines. Happy National Flag Day, Philippines. Ah, so in order to properly display the Filipino flag, in times of peace, you've got to have the blue at the top. And in times of war, it's the red at the top. Well, do not worry, Philippines. I will keep that in mind. Today's Flaggle. I've still not played Flaggle. Shall I give it a go now? Right, okay. I think I understand how to play it. Right, let's search for a flag. I am going to try Cameroon to begin with, please. Right, so it's giving me this image, so I think that means that the red is in the correct spot. Oh wait, it could be something like Poland or Monaco, couldn't it? Poland. Let's try Poland. Yes, there is red in the entire bottom section, but there isn't white in the top bit. So it's not Poland and it's also not Monaco. I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna try Burkina Faso, I think. Guess. Oh no, the red's on the top, not the bottom, so I don't get anything there. This is actually really difficult. <laughs> could it be like Haiti or Liechtenstein or something? Oh, this is tricky. Oh, hang on. I think this means that it's Liechtenstein. Let's try it. It was! It was Liechtenstein! Alright, Flaggle is difficult, but we got there in five. I think that's okay. My favourite Ukrainian flag looks more elegant with the emblem. Does look nice. I like it. Brings it all together. Flag of the EU, but it's loading. Alright. Yep. That's, that's great. Flag ceiling in local pub. Oh, that sounds like my kind of establishment. Very nice. Another Zambia redesign. I like it better than the real thing. That's very nice. Big fun, big fun. Oh, look at that. I want one. It's the Chile flag embroidered onto a hat, but in the shape... Oh, no. How? Oh, hold on a second. I'm not falling for that again. That's the shape of Texas. That's the Texas flag, but they've written Chile on the side of it because they're foolish. Not like me. I'm no fool. US flags hung up for the filming of the newest Indiana Jones film in Glasgow. United Kingdom. That'd be so weird to see in Glasgow. <laughs> the Cairo flagpole in Saudi Arabia. That is one hell of a girthy pole, isn't it? Nothing is knocking that pole down. To be honest, it's excessive. The flag should be higher up and then it would look alright, but because the flag's so low down, I don't like it, alright? I'm not like, I'm, I feel uncomfortable if I'm honest. Oh, I've seen this before, but I can never get enough of it. The flag of Japan and Bangladesh looks so good together. Very, very nice. I drew the Swiss flag from memory. <laughs> We're Scott Johnson flag redesign. So this is what the current flag looks like. Just too detailed, too much going on. It just says the word Wisconsin in big right. You don't need the word on there or a date. Whereas this one, they've just nabbed the badger from the original and they've shoved it there with some pretty colours. Much better in my opinion. And on that note, I'm going to end off the satisfying flags video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you are satisfied and I will see you next time.